Thank you for joining. In this lesson, we will continue practicing controllers. We will explore the available options for implementing controllers and multiple endpoints using controllers attribute in Netcore 7. In the previous lesson, we created a simple endpoint using add controllers, map controls, and the route attribute. Now let's see how to declare multiple routes and endpoints. Suppose we need a specific logic to be executed for multiple endpoints. In this case, we can simply add another route just below the current route attribute using the exact same pattern. With this implementation, if I call either of these two routes, both will respond with the same string. You can declare as many endpoints as you need using this approach. If you declare an attribute above the method, it will be associated by Netcore 7 with the route attribute. I will duplicate the route a few times and will change the method names to match the routes. You can name the methods as you wish, and all of them will be automatically detected by Netcore 7. The convention is to name methods responsible for endpoints starting with a capital letter. Certainly, expanding on the concepts covered in previous lessons, you can enhance an endpoint's functionality by including parameters. Moreover, when needed, you can also apply the constraints we discussed earlier to these parameters. In the previous lesson, I highlighted that including the term controller in the class name informs Netcore 7 that the class should function as a controller. An alternative method to declare a controller involves using the controller attribute within square brackets. This approach allows you to omit the word controller from the class name while still achieving the same functionality. Alternatively, you have the option to utilize both the controller word in the class name and the controller attribute to provide enhanced clarity. Exactly, you can choose to declare both the controller word in the class name and the controller attribute, but the more prevalent approach is to utilize the controller attribute. And as always, lesson assignments. At the conclusion of each lesson, I highly encourage you to complete the assignments, as they will greatly contribute to your progress in ASP.NET Core 7. By consistently practicing, you will see faster results in your learning journey. And the assignments answers you can download from the GitHub. The link is below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!